Armath Nomad, the Wonder. Nomad is by Armath, made in France. Comes in this case like this. Base notes of Gajan Blossom, Guayac Wood, Labdamum, Honey, Sandalwood, Mirror, Vetiver Patchouli. And I really like it. It's very aromatic and it smells like a Louis Vuitton fragrance called Apogee. And that's just by matching the notes to that fragrance. It's almost identical in notes. It's a very appealing fragrance. Kind of hard to find, not a bad price. You will be overspraying yourself with this to get performance, but it did give me six hours of performance and a, a nice 90 minute projection. While we're here, we have the comment section starting. The next fragrance we'll talk about is La Tapa Men's Hayati Al Maleki. It's a lemon rhubarb, which is the refreshing opening of Akaraban's Phantom. And then it evolves into that clean lavender and the, the aromatics come off. Phantom is, um, Maleki is like $20 and everyone loves it because the price value proposition. But for $10 more, and I found this, this actually my friend owns doesn't own it but he works with them it's called Nusik Fawa and it's Phantom for $30 and it lasts longer to my opinion and it's smokier and more delicious and I love this fragrance that's no joke so that's the Phantom talk for today and there's still nothing for Phantom Eau de Parfum or only on the Eau de Toilette but it does have that lemon zesty vanilla lavender vetiver smoky feeling the next one that was doing really good is called Just Jack Amalfi Coast, which is a fresh green, like Tom Ford Mandarino da Amalfi type fragrance. And it has a vibrant citrus and it's selling out every single time. It's like $35. Just Jack makes a good fragrance. They make one called Mystery that's very, very strong and oud. The next couple ones they're coming out with lots of Aventus stuff, Hamibi, but I've never tried it. And there's a new company called Easy that's coming out with Aventus stuff and just your classic titles, but dirt, dirt cheap and strong performance. I haven't opened them, but I have tested these. And one of them Sauvage, one of them is Aventus, and one of them is actually Issy Miyaki for men. And then there's some women's stuff and they're really off the chain for the price. Like, I want to say $20 a bottle. And those little ones are like 12 Anyway, we'll, we'll get into those on another date. There's also Excelsius by Flavia. It's a new brand with has a pure pineapple opening, black pepper bergamot, and it just lasts and can destroy the high heat. Flavia makes this fragrance called Viking. If you're on my email list soon, if you are on my email list soon, we are going to be giving these away free. Also, in today's video, we're going to give away this Cremo for men, cologne, blue cedar, and cypress. Thank you to Lani Blyler for giving this away. And later this weekend, we're going to do another live stream, and we're going to give this away in case... You're watching this on Restream. This is also from Lonnie Blyer there. It's called Our Main Detour Rouge instead of Noir. And we're going to give that away. I haven't opened it yet. I'll open it, do the review, and then give it away on the next live stream. And anyone who's watching this live stream, you can take advantage of this website and this code LIVE10 discount if you're watching the Restream or you're watching right now. And we'll see who is on today. Do we have? comment section open and I don't have any comments sometimes it takes a second for the comments to load so I will wait hmm. comments Oh, there they are. There we go. We got Justin Man with Sense. 
Gem Dealer and Watch Sense, Jeremy Mitchell, Paul Robertson. Missed the Malal stuff today, dang it. Uh, yeah, forgot to tell you, there's a friend of mine, you may know him. He made this video today. I'm going to show My man, love that guy. He knows what he's doing. Very smart guy. He can work the live stream software better. Okay, now we're back to the live stream. Sorry for the delay. I just wanted to show you that. That'll go on till it's all sold out. Just so you know, Bamboo Sense. Okay. Okay. Here we have. Luke H says generous, buddy three zero eight five hydrate. Yep, thank you. How was everyone doing today, and what are you wearing? I'd like to know that. Have you tried Salvo Intense? I think that's the Parish Corner fragrance, isn't it? Who's gonna get this free cremo? Anybody know? Does anybody know what this is about? We gotta give this away today to someone. Cremo Blue Cedar and Cypress. It's just a nice, masculine, fresh, green, freshy fragrance. It just smells good. And that's what it has. Woodsy scent of lemon, leaf, cypress, and cedar. Once again, Lonnie Blyther sent that in to give it away. He's got a whole bunch of stuff he wants to give away this season. And we'll work together as a community to give away stuff. The next, Just Jay. Unk, what's going on? I sent you that password, buddy. Hey, Unc, you know where I can find a one million privé for sale? Uh, JD. Hey, JD. Oh, JD asks, do you know where I can find a one million privé for sale? JD, you see this right here? It's called bestbrandsperfume.com. I think they sell it. Is this it right here? It's called one million privé. A little bit expensive, but they got them. And you can get 10% off, which is a lot of money off because it's kind of pricey. So there you go, JD. Go nab it. ASAP. There's only a couple left. Nice question. Carlos Tamos, happy evening, my friend. What's up, everybody? Luke H. Scent of the day is first instinct together. Out of the sour. Now that fresh, that first instinct is a really fresh citrus opening. If I can remember, it's the blue box and the blue juice bottle. And it's incredibly citrus, vibrant, and it reminds you of Invictus Aqua. Oh, some guy's trying to call me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Someone, somewhere. What's up, Unc? Daniel, what's a good clone for CH Men Privé? There's some kind, there's some good clones out there. Um, Al Harmain makes one. I have it. It's not bad. It's Maison Alhambra Salvo. Oh. What's it supposed to be the clone of, Justin? Scent of the day is Mr. Burberry Indigo, which he got from this website. Thank you so much. Pradeep, what is the best out perfume, sir? Scent of the day, La, Ca La Taquita de Café. Now, what is that, Mike? You always intrigue me. Mike, I got my scent of the day right here. It's called Initial Rehab. I really like the way it smells, but is it, oh, is it worth having something to own on this? Out. It's very expensive. It smells awesome, but I don't know if you can, you should own it or not. You know, and let me know what that is. I gotta read a things, uh, Mike. 
so then anybody cares about Excelsius or Aventus stuff anymore because they keep people just keep making it and making it and making it okay so here's a cool one this is called Mercedes-Benz Club Green let's see what that smells like okay club remember Mercedes-Benz Club the black one that's coming out this later this weekend too but we got this one in it's pretty cool. Extreme. Let's see what it smells like. I know what people says it smells like. Some people said, oh yeah, that smells phenomenal. Oh wow, no wonder they love this stuff. That was a little bit too much, but check it out. It does smell like uh, angel product, like a Dairy Mugula angel product. I was like, there's no way. It's got the booziness and like caramel and freshness all at the same time. I can't tell if it's regular angel or the Havana. It smells good nonetheless. That is fire. Mercedes Benz Extreme Club. Club Extreme. So you all know Mercedes Benz Club. This is Club Extreme. Mercedes Benz Club is one of the cheapest, well, the best, longest lasting, most complimented fragrance you can get. So Club Extreme is like that extreme. Remind me to give this away. Please don't forget. Man with Sense. Territoire Privé is a $12 fragrance. It reminds him of CH Men Privé. Thank you, Man with Sense. Scent of the day is Allure Homme Sport of Extreme. Fancy. Call me G. Ultra Red Pak Raban. It's during the evening. Then Hala La Tafa Pride. Hmm, interesting. I don't like that Hala La Tafa. It's too woody. Something, something's off with it for me, my personal taste. Best brands of the bomb. You hooked me up. Won't buy anywhere else. Thank you. Thanks, Keith Howell. Thank you so much. Karen Ball. Hi, Uncle. Scent of the day is Garaguamo. Yomo. Urban Feel. That's the blue fragrance. It's like a freshie by Salvatore Ferragamo. If anyone ever tried Intense Leather or Leather by Ferragamo, let me know. Has anyone ever tried this? Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir Eau de Toilette Extreme. Let me know. Yeah, so here's a new fragrance. Has anyone ever heard of this? It's called Fallen Angel. <laughs> I guess I, I, I just got it. I haven't tested it, okay? I don't know anything about this company. Do comment down below if you've heard of Aston Fragrances. Obviously, manufactured under license. Oh. Wow, it's made. Manufactured under license of Anfar, Oud H. Anfar, 529 made in Dubai. Hmm, well, that's different. Let's see what it smells like. I can't remember the price. Does anybody ever heard of this? Obviously, it's guess what? A fallen angel is what angels share dupe, but you see the liquid already compared is like a little bit light colored angel share right here you see the angel share looks like some expensive cognac right real angel share that's the stuff bro and this let's take a look at the difference in colors before i spray it mm -hmm. well i don't know maybe it's the bottle but here, from my point of view, this is like way thicker. It's like almost like a syrup. And this one, not so. But let's spray it and see what it's about. Again, has anyone ever tried these fragrances? Carisma by Aston Eau de Parfum. Aston is a company. They sell budget clone fragrances from Dubai, obviously. It says on the back they're from... License under Oud Al Anfar. And Oud Al Anfar. Yeah, it might be good. No. It smells good and it's appealing. I don't know the price. And then we'll compare it to this. 
It's not bad. Uh, I got nose blindness already. Already it's, my nose is gone. I sprayed too much. But it smells pretty good actually. But the smell good, does it last long? So I'll have to give this a test. I put it to the side because I, I assumed that it sucked. Let's see if anyone knows about it. That Cremo sounds like a great note. Luke, I might give it to you. Chris, it's like this. Imagine tiramisu made from orange chocolate flourless lady fingers drenched in boozy coffee. Damn, that sounds really good. Where is that fragrance? How do you know all this stuff? I'm sure it. La Taquita de Cafe. Who makes that one, Mike? I gotta write that down. You told me two fragrances to get, and I'm still debating on that one that you were wearing the other day, Mike. Blockade. Remember that one? And then someone said it. It was like a Ventus style fragrance, but this one, La Tachita de Café. How is the projection and the performance and how much did it cost, Mike? Let us all know. Sounds Ultra G. Okay. Now we're back on point. Sauvage de Parfum has Salvo Elixir. All right. Yeah. So, Mike, we just read that. Rob King's here. Started the day. Born in Roma and end of the day with Eros Flame. Fire, King Fire. Greetings from Romania. And then Fasolaru. JD, what's a good cone of Tom Ford Noir Extreme? Somebody help him out. Pandeep Anjuru. Okay. Hey, Yonk, is there a cone for Zerzhoff Naxos? Yeah, but I can't remember the name. I, I just put together this really killer clone list that I'm going to make it into a video. Um, hmm, I think Rasala. Oh, that's Herba Pura. Rasala has some Herba Pura fragrances. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This is Rasala. They make this one, which is a Louis Vuitton. And you know what? If you use this code 50, I'll type it in. Then you can get that for 50% off and check it out. No problem. It's really long lasting. It's really good. It's not as good as this. This is Flavia. And this is the Lusala Louis Vuitton. And then Risala, I went on. Risala does make those fragrances like Zerzhoff Herba Pura, the blue one. And they make Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille or something like that. They make a clone. And you can use code 50. I think, I think all the Risalas are code 50, but um, don't mark my word. But yeah, this starts out. Kind of strong, like strong AF, but it lasts. So you got to wait for the dry down. It turns nice. And this one hits it off really well right off the get. And it lasts. I like this one better, but I mean, if this is 50% off, definitely this is $25. It's well worth it because it lasted eight hours. And then the best one is called Leather Pure. And I, I know that this is the best one. It's because I have the real Louis Vuitton. It's the only one I own right here, the Ombre Nomad. So I'm able to really, really compare these clones that they make. And some are atrocious and some aren't. Some are weak and smell good. And, you know, what do you want? You want something weak or you want something strong? You want it all in one package, 20, 30 bucks, right? Let's see if... Um, what system do you use for your website, Fieldmints? I'm not questioning your authenticity. I just want to be safe on the internet. Well, let me give you the code and everything. Karam, Karam Bal, I'll give you my social security number and everything. Now, we use Stripe, okay? Stripe, I'm sure you do. 
Greg Graham, Scent of the Day, Brion ADP. How do you like that? I used to rock the 90-94 original Sean Lane. Can you recommend a cologne that smells close enough to the OG Dolce Gabbana Italy? Nope, I can't. Just get the new one, I guess. 1981X by Alexandria is a good Naxos clone. What are some good winter fragrances? Recommendation. Where do you live, Justin? Okay, Mike, 50 mil was 110. And how is the projection and all that? A Mirevoix Elegance for Naxos. That sounds like the one I've heard of. That sounds really good. Better than Alexandria. I've never even heard of Alexandria. No offense. But yeah. Block A, top notes. Mango, tomato leaf. Okay, so it's mango, flowery, watery, cyclamen, star anise. So it's not really a. Yeah, they say everything's. You go on these Fragranticas, they say everything is Baccarat root, Rita Ventus, or something. Has anyone ever tried. Has anyone ever tried Game of Spades Wild Card? I sprayed it on my hand. It smells amazing, like a Bond Number no. Nine Lafayette Square, I, and I only have this little stupid sample, so I can't really get a whiff of it. But I don't know the longevity, so that's why I asked. It leaves a nice. It smells amazing, like dead on to that fragrance. It's by Joe Milano. I don't know. It's like a hundred bucks though. Hundred dollar fragrances don't cut it. This we're gonna have to revisit. So no one's ever heard of Aston, so I'm gonna have to revisit that. Super chat, five dollars from Kel Torres. Thank you so much. Missed your live. I'm just grabbing Le Bow now. Thank you so much, Mr. Kel Torres. I got a whole box of stuff. I'm just gonna rip through it real quick. Um what's up, Dr. Sense? Jurin. Jiren, I'm supposed to send you a fragrance. I'll send you something. I don't know what yet, though, but I will. Jiren has a TikTok channel. I have a TikTok channel, but I don't know how to use it. I don't know what's going on. I've, I've got a TikTok store. I don't even know. I uploaded a video of Zhirzhov something, and it went. 10,000 views in a day. I was so amazed. But whatever. Hey, Unc. Spice Bomb EDT. Good for $35. 40 years. Old. Oh, EDT good for a 35-year-old businessman as a winter scent. H, yeah, buddy. Unc. It's nice. Greg says, Brioni has apple wood spice and long-lasting. So the next one is this. Oh, no, we just talked about that. The D, the wood. Yeah, I'm really intrigued about that still. The next one is this, Jean Lowe. Does anyone have any experience with these? This is called Nouveau. And so I suppose it's Louis Vuitton Nouveau Monde. Nouveau Monde. And I think I've seen this like all kinds of prices and it's always sold out. It smells really good, but like masculine. You know what smells really good is something called Louis Vuitton Metra, Metra Noir. It smells incredible. Louis Vuitton fragrances, though, in general, I feel like they're overpriced, you know? Let's go to another one. We have to give this away. So, so far, one guy said he wants it, and I'm probably going to give it to him. I have to go back to the comments to see. Thanks again, Kel Torres, for the super chat. Everything we make here, we invest it back and give to other people. That's my motto. This edition one, I haven't opened it yet, but someone said it's old. Let's see if we can find edition one here. Edition one. I'm on the RMAF website. No edition one. Hmm. How is it old? Or maybe it's that old. Next fragrance. We already saw that. Clean. Okay. The next fragrance we have is... 
I would like to have that bottle of Cremo. Call me G. You want that Cremo? So now we got two people that might get it, and I'll pick. Today you're wearing YSL myself. Myself, I wear YSL. That's a stupid joke. So, you ever heard of rare carbon? This is something that smells kind of like Tom Ford Ombre leather. Remember on the stream, we're going to give this away the next time we come in, Detour Naru. So, if you see the alert, I don't know when, maybe tomorrow or maybe Saturday or... Oh, this is brand new. It's called Black Saffron. I have no idea. You know, I apologize. I just have a little bit too much things going on. That's why you missed me. We went to a convention where there was a lot of these fragrance companies. Anyway, so I met the owner of Ala Haramein. I didn't know he was the owner, though. Hmm. It's kind of fruity, like raspberry and saffron. I don't imagine black saffron is birito, is it? But it just smells like a like some sort of Killian want to be interesting. Yeah, coming up soon, we're going to give away a whole bunch of these on an email, okay? The email will come out if you're on the email list. We're going to give away these real relatively on the fragrance sites. They're 70 bucks. On some other sites, they're 30 but you'll get it free. And we're going to give some of these away in another email. These are coming up in the next couple of days or weeks. We already talked about Risala. It's a good company if you get the fragrance for like 20 or 30 bucks or 20 worth it. And then there's this one. It's called Rasasi Lil Rijal. This is like a serious beast mode. And I used it for one video, just showed it to someone. It's on a declutcher sale. It's probably on that website right there for 17 bucks or something. Just to show you. And this is interesting. Has anyone ever tried this? Oh, chic. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I wish you could talk. Chic. It's weird, like, talking to all you guys. You're listening to me, but all I see is text. It's like, you know, in Zoom, you can, like, let people talk. You know what I mean. I don't have the technology. YSLY right off the get-go, right? This is called La Tapas Final Edition. Heard lots of good things about it. it smells good. It's like $25, I want to say. $25. Is that a lot for a La Tapa? Or is it cheap? I don't know. This is like the number one compliment getting fragrance. This is what I should send you, Dr. Sense. One of these. Yeah. Scandal. Do you have this, Duran? Do you have this scandal? This is number one seller on our website. It smells just like Jean Paul Gaultier Scandal. And Scandal is a compliment magnet. Some people hate it, say it's so sweet. We're not all wearing niche gear, Mike. Well, we have this Eternia, which is another clone of Phantom, if you've ever heard of it. It's very, very good, too. I like this. Here's another clone. This is called Mega Yellow. The thing about this is, like, there's a 200 milli, 200 M. Here, is this it? There's, a, there's one that's the size of two bottles, right? It's like $3 higher than the size. So that's why this is a good fragrance. There is no other reason why, but that reason, like it's, I don't know, it's three, five, ten dollars $10 higher, but whatever it is, it's two of them in one big bottle. So you spray yourself like a madman and you will get crazy performance. You have to sometimes if you really want people to notice you. 
go around just going no one's gonna smell you unless you're wearing this see like this fragrance is amazing it's very expensive and i know we don't talk about expensive fragrances on this channel but if you ever had the opportunity to buy someone gives you a gift card for macy's or whatever nordstrom you get this it's a very wearable version of tom ford ombre leather it's sweet it's effing phenomenal it's loud it's obnoxious it's strong it's lasting it's a wearable leather fragrance like usually leather fragrances are like eh. this one here i'm telling you the first time i smelled it i was in love and just like two spring yeah i mean i would go ham on this and then it'll like blow up in five minutes delicious fragrance it's called parfum ombre leather it's softer not as rough as ombre leather so ombre leather is very good and this is like more mass appealing and we have this al nobel amir is like 25 dollars in my opinion it goes in the direction of something like caramel and vanilla and spices and wood so this metal black velvet i mean how they i don't know how they can make these these bottles let's see what the sprayer looks like look at the sprayer intense smoky vanilla sweet and stark all at the same time this is really good i don't even know what this ysl baby cat or something called pandora this is awesome. This is that kind of fragrance. Another person will get this. Lacoste White. I'm going to stick this together to give to you. So, let's see who wants that fragrance. Senor Conrad, what does it smell like, huh? I've been waiting to try the Cremo Iced Edition. I like Cremo, especially for the price. What's the sale tonight, Unc? What do you want me to put on sale? Tell me, senor. Tell me and I'll do it. Thanks for the vids, Uncs. You're very nice, Craig. Oh, all the way from Canada. Shout out. I wonder if you're in Toronto or my cousins live in Toronto. Carrie Cruz. Unc, the sound is awful. Carrie Cruz. The sound is awful. Should I be talking closer to the mic? Let me know. We got Mark Bryson. I've seen several reviews on Dior Omen Tents. Which would you recommend being? What would you recommend being the best clone? It's hard to say because that thing is a masterpiece. But you know what smelled good was I found something called Camaro. This guy. Um, it's called Camaro by Pandora or Paris Corner, one of those two. Can I get a live stream on that Spice Bomb Night Vision? I have. All you got to do is hit this live 10 if you're spending 50, my friend. So you'll get whatever you want off. What's up, Uncle Chris? Michael, Michael Leck. Dr. Sense. Yes. Oh, you do have the Skandal? Okay. Tell me uh, which kind of RMF fragrance you would like to have, Mr. Sense. Hello, Uncle Chris. How you, how you going? Thank you, Vaughn. It's going really well. What's up, Kyle C? Ombre Leathers Fire. Carrie Cruz. I just put on Bulgaria Aqua Tonic. Wow, you got that old school. You sure you're not Steven from Lakeland, Florida? Oh, this guy's got the old school Pinot Sylvester as his icon. That stuff is really spicy green. Uh, yeah, next fragrance. RMF Fresh Intense is a new one I found. It smells like Lacoste. Not Lacoste. It smells like Mont Blanc Red. He 
here is the, does anyone know if there's a clone for this? It's called Rehab. Rehab. Is there a, is there a clone for this yet? What does it smell like at first? It's powdery, soft, kind of bubble gummy, a little tobacco sprinkled in there. It's hard to describe this fragrance, but it's good. But um, in hot weather, I sweated, and it didn't last good for me. But it lasted like 75 minutes in extreme heat. Okay, so that's pretty good. You know, if you want a fragrance that projects like almost perfectly like not too loud and it won't piss anyone off i would highly recommend you get aqua de geo profumo it's brand new and this thing just hums off your skin and it's the parfum old box yeah this is awesome i think it i've never tried that new one that's gray and clear but I think this is different. This is on fleek, baby. This hums off your skin, too. This is like a caballo. It seems like it smells like a Galloway fragrance. Parfums de Marlis Galloway. Got to get this. Does anybody have this? I keep that one for, old, for myself. Okay, here we have Kaid al Fursan. Is this any good? Kaid al Fursan. They say. Well, we'll see what they say. Wow. Complete citrus bomb, huh? Amazing. It's like AI fragrance, how they do it. Mind boggling. Here we have. Paris Corner Rifka, which is a YSL baby uh, baby cat clone. It's not bad. It's not baby cat, but it's not bad. I mean, it is baby cat, but it's just not baby cat, if you know what I mean. So. Tamari Futur, I hear loud and clear. I have Camaro, it's good. Camaro is 2007 version of Jerome Intense, it's nice. I heard Camaro is amazing and spot on. Have you tried the two new Pino Silvesters? No, I don't get into those, my friend. I just got that from you at Rocks. Are you talking about Gandalf? Mervyn Comis, I'm always enjoying your videos. Sending much love from Suriname. Hmm, I have. Jack of Clubs from Fragrance World, and I love it. It's supposed to be YSL Blue Electric. I hope so, my friend. Aaron McGowan, Giorgio Armani Privé Amber Eccentrico. What does that smell like? I've had Pinot Sylvester in my basket five times, never pulled the trigger. I don't know what kind of fragrances you like, Vaughn, but that one is different it's not just a very um mature dated fragrance but it's got a cult following i'll tell you that it's very much so in puerto rico's and south america's it sells like crazy like nuts so it's a very green pine saw style fragrance senor conrad unk d and g the one any good yeah, it is, especially the Eau de Parfum. I prefer Profondo over Profumo. There you go. Now we got a battle. Aaron McGowan got 20% off. I don't know what that means. I would love the new Yellow R Math. What is your opinion of it? Yeah, that's called Odyssey Mega, and you get the 6.8 ounce. It smells like Yves Saint Laurent Wild de Toilette. It smells good right from the fresh first squirting, and that's what I like when fragrances don't have to go through all that chemical nastiness to get where they're going, you know? Alfersana is good with some pineapple. Eight Alfersana is nice. I have it. Fire. Yep. Tuscan leather took a bit of time to get used to, but now I miss it. 
Yep. Couple months. Call me G. Brian Allen from St. Louis Cardinals, but here it's back from Texas, cooling down here. Any good recommendations on new fall scents? Yeah. I 100% recommend you get this. It's licorice. It's brand new from Alhar, Maine. And I got some notes here what it is. It lasts 15 hours. It projects like a, this is a true beast mode fragrance. It's called Oslo Oud. It's deep, rich, juicy, grapefruit, extra depth, card spicy and aromatic. The lavender is in there that gives it a clean, fresh smell. So it smells like Dior Sauvage Elixir 99.999. Then, as you wear it, you'll get some incense and some smoky overtones, which makes you unique as well as some oud is in there very strategically placed oud you don't notice it but it's there it's very much there the patchouli is very natural that they use in here patchouli is like a a green herb some people like it but it, they just sprinkle it in there professionally like the mathematics if you know anything about fragrance composition which i don't but i can tell when something's made well and the longevity off skin is over 12 hours. And on clothing, you can say five, six, seven days. Woodsy, smoky, creamy, date night, daytime work. Not interview, though. It'd be a little bit too loud for interview. But you could get away with two squirts at work. It's like two pounds bottle. The box looks like this. And there you go. And there's some licorice in there, too. Black licorice. That's what I recommend for the fall, that one. And then if you want something else, this isn't bad by Parrish Corner. I mean, it's kind of like vanilla caramel. But I really like, this isn't bad. It's a light raspberry spiced fragrance called Black Saffron. Very easy to wear. This is kind of fall, like called Ara Fresh. It's like 15 bucks. It smells like Versace Fresh. The one I really like, Viking smells like Jean-Paul Gaultier. If you're on our list, though, we're going to have a giveaway on those. This is the one. This is the one that I like. It's called <laughs> Alnobile. It's almost a gourmand, but it's like honey, vanilla, woody fragrance. And it smells really good. It's different, though. I don't know if guys are ready for that it's kind of sweet and spicy all at the same time brian allen st louis texas smoky sweet best to have so far can i get your spice bomb night vision for 40 i didn't even know i had it spice bomb night vision Might be an error here. Night vision on that. There shouldn't be any night visions. They've been sold out of night vision for a while. I'm pretty sure it's sold out. Um, this is a good deal though. I think this is like 40. For $40, this is a great deal. Carolina Herrera 212 Heroes looks like a skateboard. So what they're doing here is trying to evoke that you're still young at heart. Just like when Jimmy Choo made their fragrance. Jimmy Choo's On Ice, I think it was called. And they tried to, they had a guy in a suit skateboarding as the commercial. So I don't know. Look at that sprayer. This just smells fresh, good, citrus, little apple. This just smells like Carolina Herrera makes great fragrances, but they don't get hyped at all because of the price, I suppose. And maybe, I mean, it'll last five hours 
if off those three sprays, but I would spray it more. It just makes you feel good too. It's one all the Herreras make you feel good. Johnny boy, greetings from Fantasy Island. What's up with that RMF Mega Yellow? Was it good? Julius, you gotta I'm not talking to you, Julius. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's good. It smells like Yves Saint Laurent Y. You got to get the big bottle, though. You can spray it 17 times. I know you, Julius. I remember you. Hey, Julius, spend 50. Use this code. Live 10 discount. Help me out, Julius, okay? What's happening? You know Bon 9 Lafayette Street clones? Yeah, it's called Joe Malona. This. Game of Spades Wild Card. It's fire, but I'm not sure about the longevity, my friend. But it is smelling good. And frankly, Lafayette, that lasts about five hours anyway, right? Six, seven hours. I mean, some people say more, but they're spraying crazy. Yeah, man. The two new Pinot Sylvester's are Amber Wood and Italian Citrus. Studio Sense and the King of Hidden Gems talks about them. Nice. Nice. What do you think of the reviewer at the Mono? I, I didn't really watch anyone except for Ashton. He's really cool. And I like Dallas and uh, just the main reviewers. I'm just like a mainstream, simple, easygoing type person. Of course, my friend Neeb, he's really nice, really good people. How do you feel about bond number nine signature? Bond number nine signature. I don't remember that one. Creamy, warm weather scents. Paco Raban Invictus. Paco Raban. One million Royales. Well, it's not really creamy. Paco Raban. One million Parfum is a little bit more creamy, but the Phantom. I meant to say Paco Rabanne Phantom is creamy, warm weather scent. Where do you get that 212? Is it on your site? Let's check it out and see. We'll go to my site. Let me know if you can see my site uh, in the comments, please. I'm going to try to see if you can see it. Can you see the site, everybody? Just say Y or N or yes or no. Let's see the site. Okay, my friend. This is the name. It's three ounces, 212. It's on the site, type 212 in the search. It's only $39, the best price on the entire internet. Okay, if you add something else to make it 50, you can get live 10 discount. That's the $50 off. Uh, someone said something says, Why don't you write on screen the name? Because we can't understand your pronunciation. Sesizari. Okay. Well, this is a live video. So right now, I can't like sit there and type all the names. I mean, I could, but just let me know any questions you have and I'll type it in for you. Sesizari. Cheers. What is the best clone of the Euro sport? Yes. Okay. So you saw. Yes, it's on there. Call me G. Brian Allen. Yes. Good. Good. Yeah, I know. I changed it back. Call me G. Great chill, cheap fragrance for fall wind. Fall weather is extreme. Poor Ohm. Revenge. Johnny boy, you know a lot of stuff. Your camera don't show the boxes right either. Okay. I'm not kind of new to this live stream, but who wants this? So far, I got Call Me G who wants it. And name three other people real quick who wants this fragrance. And I uh, will get it to you. 
So, 10, 9, 8. Thank you, RC8093. I really appreciate that. You can also donate by Super Chat if you'd like to help out. And I can give away more fragrances. And thank you to Lonnie Blyler for sending this out. I decided to give it to Call Me G. Call Me G. Email me at gmail.com. You use this name at gmail.com. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, you're from Toronto, eh? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Mike, come on, Mike. You don't need this. <laughs> Let's see. So we're giving this to Call Me G and W-A-G-Y-U. Where are you from? J. Harrington, where are you from? Mike, I'll know where you're from. Well, at least I do. Damari Fulker, where are you from? Okay, so we're going to give this away to Call Me G, who knows what to do. And Vaughn says he already has it. And we're going to cut this live stream short today and We'll prepare something nice and neat in a different area. This is a warehouse, and we're going to go into my old kitchen with the microwave, and I'll prepare everything nice and neat and organized, and then you'll be able to see the words and everything. I just came on to say hi to everyone, and would thank you so much for visiting. And this does, if you're watching the restream, you can hit that up. Tell me if you've ever tried Joe Maleno anything in the comments and anybody on the restream just tell me if you have ever tried joe milano and it does it last is it worth it and also tell me if you've ever tried any fragrances from this house in the comments like after the video is over you know this is a house called austin eau de parfum fallen angel I don't know the price. I don't know anything. I just need to know if it's any good, like, performance-wise. It smells like angel. Hey, have a great evening, and I'll see you this weekend. I don't know when. Probably Saturday. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know.